Hello everyone, this is Nikki Rowland uh, with a layout for Simple Stories. Um, I'm using the super cute Pet Shop collection today. Um, there are three Pet Shop collections. Um, this is the one that I'm using is the kind of like more generic one with the small pets. Um, so guinea pigs, rabbits, mice, frogs, um, <laughs> uh, chameleons, snakes, all those kind of things. Um, and then there's also a collection, uh, Pet Shop Cat and Pet Shop Dog. And they're obviously cat and dog themed. So um, today I'm using the small animals um, one and uh, I we don't have any pets. So <laughs> I had to think slightly outside the box for what photos I could use because um, we don't have any dogs or cats in our network either. Um, so photos were a little bit tricky, but um, what I do have is um, the animal petting experience um, at our local farm when we're always at the farm um, so um, so yeah so we have photos from there so that is what these are um, what photos I have used so unfortunately they're not about our pets because we don't have any um, but um, <clears throat> the children really adore seeing the little animals um, at the farm so that was fun so these are guinea pig photos and there are guinea pigs in the pet shop collection um, <clears throat> so um, brilliant um, I chose just to use the one photo I was considering using two um, but I couldn't quite fit it in and and use this guinea pig card that I really wanted to use it says it's guinea be it's guinea be a great day brilliant love it um, and uh, yeah so I, I struggled a little bit with the design at first as to where to put my photos or to put my photo and my card uh, because I had this kind of quirky um, design of the papers in the background so I really liked the spotty paper I, I love paper I love simple stories paper and I always try my hardest to show it off as best as I can um, or to at least cover a large part of my layout in paper because I <clears throat> whenever I go shopping for scrapbooking supplies the paper is the first thing I go to um, but then lots of layouts end up on white backgrounds um, rather than on pattern paper backgrounds. So um, I try and cover a large portion of my white background with um, a pattern paper. So that that's the plan anyway. Um, so that's what I've done with this one. I've done it at a kind of jaunty angle with the spotty paper and then I've kind of framed it with the yellow paper as well, the yellow stripe that really gives it a lift, gives it some separation from the white or slightly cream background from the dotty paper and the white background um, and um, it reads as a solid so it's it's a good contrast there. So that's what I've done um, with the pattern paper background and now I say I'm just trying to work out how to fit my photos in and this is what I decided to go for in the end. So one photo um, top there like that with the guinea pig card that I really wanted to use over on the right hand side um, and then I've, I just kind of take it from there and then I can build um, build up the embellishment clusters um, and things from there. So I've pretty much decided on this format so now I can start to commit and stick everything down um, and um, and just add all the embellishments which is um, super fun. <laughs> um, I've added a couple of little bunny rabbits down the bottom there. I love the idea of them kind of peeking out of the layers of the pattern paper. Um, and uh, so I've, we and we saw rabbits the same day so um, even though there's no rabbits in the photograph um, it's okay because um, we saw rabbits that day too um, and um, <clears throat> so I put the two rabbits at the bottom there poking out and I also put two little guinea pigs down there as well um, this collection is a, a slightly more limited collection than a full collection they're kind of mini collections um, and um, they have a pack of foam stickers which are like phrases and titles but also icons too um, and um, they also have a, a bits and pieces pack and uh, a sticker sheet um, but that's it so um, that's plenty to be honest that's plenty and they also have less papers as well I think there's only six papers in the collection instead of 12 so they're kind of mini collections which actually I find quite fun to use um, <clears throat> I sometimes find that less choice is better <laughs> um, so um, anyway uh, yeah so I've pulled embellishments from all of those places um, so I've used the foam I've used the bits and pieces and I've used the flat stickers as well um, and uh, just to and also I fussy cut bits from pattern paper too so um, like the journaling cards and that kind of thing is from the pattern papers um, <clears throat> so yes yeah, so I'm just building up um, I figured that um, even though I've only got guinea pigs sorry I've got a Santa hat on you just saw that there I know that it's uh, way past Christmas now but um, I filmed this just before Christmas and I was wearing a hat um, 
Um, <laughs> I um, actually do. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, even though the photo only has guinea pigs in, um, I decided to utilize some of the other smaller animals as well, just because they're so cute. So I have mice, I have a frog, I have a chameleon, I have the snake at the top there. I thought he was super cute hanging down. I love the little mouse at the top just poking out from the pattern paper and then the other one that's going the opposite way around at the bottom. Obviously used as many guinea pigs as I could fit on a page. Um, and um, and then I say I'm just adding little bits and pieces so I've added carrot sticker I've added hearts um, I've added footprints um, I love that they are proper um, little small animal rodent feet rather than um, paw prints um, like cats and dog paw prints um, super cute and I love the attention to detail with these kind of things so brilliant job simple stories as always um, just adding in um, some little word stickers but I wanted to raise them on foam pads um, so oh maybe that's from us maybe are they from the sticker book I can't quite remember um, but um, they are papery stickers and I wanted to um, raise them on foam pads so I've stuck them onto a piece of card first uh, best pet ever animal lover and pet lover um, and I'm um, just poking those into the top layers of the um, uh, paper layers there um, and um, I've also just put some little details on the background so where the spots are I've just taken a grey journaling pen and um, outlined some of them they're wobbly they're not perfect lines but that's kind of the point um, so I've just offset some circles um, against the circles that are already there and then I'm going to add more to those dots as well I'm going to add um, enamel dots and I'm going to add um, decorative brads too um i've just thought that i would like to use this border sticker um the navy really kind of um not well spoke to me i just really wanted to use it it was because it's such a lovely color and gives extra contrast um it was very it was dark compared to the yellow so i thought i could bring that in so there's a border sticker off the um sticker sheet and i just cut it into two pieces and i've got one at the top angle and then i've tucked one into the layer at the bottom um now i'm just going to embellish my circles so I have, um, I'm just adding enamel dots, uh, colour on colour, I'm sorry, they're not enamel dots, they're the decorative brads, um, but I'm adding them colour on colour to the spots on the paper, just to jazz up that side of the paper a little bit, and then I'm going to do the same thing with my enamel dots as well. Um, so I think I've told you incorrectly in terms of this collection, so the, the cat and the dog collection are mini collections, whereas the, um, the uh, small animal one is... Um, a full collection so we have more embellishments for that one so yeah we have enamel dots and we have um, a sticker book and other bits and pieces as well um, so um, okay so just adding my enamel dots there um, and um, also going to add some heart stickers which I'm going to raise first on foam pads so again I'm sticking those on the dots colour on colour um, and uh, yeah so I just thought it would jazz up that um, right hand side of the page a little bit with those um, colourful um, dots um, they just they've just all not all of them but most of them have been embellished with something as well so it, it looks very similar to originally what it was but it just adds a little bit more interest and dimension um, and texture um, okay so that is my layout pretty much complete um, I'm just going to put the last little bits and pieces on now and then I'm going to finish off with some splatters of white paint um, I also need to um, write my journaling um, I'm not sure if I do that before or after I splatter um, sometimes I splatter first and then I have to wait to do my journaling um, but I'm going to write that um, underneath the title that says life is better with you that's a foam title it looks like I'm going to splatter first um, so <laughs> if I don't do my journaling on screen that's where I put it and I do it once the paint is dry of course sometimes I can get away with it if the paint is still wet um, but there's enough space um, <laughs> nope I had to do it off screen um, so there you go you can see that it's in place now underneath the title um, there we go all finished so um, I hope you have enjoyed seeing um, how this this um, layout came together. I really enjoyed working with the Pet Shop collection. It's so adorably cute. Um, those little critters are just gorgeous. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. That was Nikki Rowland for Simple Stories Using Pet Shop.